Hi everyone, welcome to another video in my channel. Uh, for those of you who might have seen some of my previous videos, uh, at least some of you are aware that I did my PhD in bioengineering from the Indian Institute of Science. After I finished my PhD, I am currently, after finishing my PhD, I am currently working in, as a research and development engineer in an organization in Europe. And I did my PhD after doing my undergraduate studies in electronics and communication engineering and after working in the industry for a few years. Uh, if you look at my PhD work itself, um, it, 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 it is more uh, correct to classify it as biomedical engineering rather than bioengineering, but I did it uh, registered in the department of bioengineering, uh, which was earlier known as the Center for Biosystem Science and Engineering or BSSC in IASC. It recently became a full department, the department of bioengineering. So when I tell people all this convoluted story about my PhD that I did my PhD in the department of bioengineering, working in a lab, uh, that working in two labs, one lab that does molecular biology and the other lab that looks, does electronic systems engineering and it add, add one more explanation to them that my work is more biomedical engineering than bioengineering, people get confused. And more than that, there are a lot of people who have reached out to me, uh, especially people students who are trying to start their undergraduate education, trying to understand what is the difference between biotechnology, bioengineering and biomedical engineering. Uh, this is especially true because now earlier, when, even when I was doing my BTEC, uh, when I was starting to do, there are a lot of colleges offering BTEC in biotechnology. There are uh, still a fewer colleges offering BTEC in biomedical engineering. But now there are more flavors of this bachelor's and master's programs being offered, MTech in bioscience engineering, MTech in bioengineering, MTech in biomedical and bioengineering, so many different options are there. So today I wanted to tell briefly, if possible, what is that core difference between or what are the differences between biotechnology, bioengineering and biomedical engineering. Uh, if I, if, you, if I look at it from a uh, hierarchical point of view or maybe an encapsulation point of view, I would say bioengineering is the uh, mother branch or the, 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 the top level one and uh, it encompasses everything like biotechnology, biomedical engineering, etc. But this is of course uh, my, my own understanding of this, uh, people can have different descriptions of how, what it is and all. This is basically, it's, it's not the exact definition I could say, not the textbook definition, but something that can help you understand the differences between these. So if, you st if I start with the most conventional or the ones that most people are familiar with is biotechnology. So what is biotechnology? Uh, to put it plainly, in plain English, it is the use of technology in biological processes. Uh, it can be processes which does not involve the human health or human body. So it can be anything. So if you take a cup of wine and or a glass of wine, if I would say, and uh, the processes that are involved in trying to make that wine can be classified as biotechnology. So the fermentation process, the, the, the big fermentation tanks and what are the chemicals involved and what, what machines are used and what, what methods that do you use to improve that fermentation process, those are biotechnology. And so you basically you use technology and methods and mostly chemical methods. Uh, biotechnology is very strongly related to biochemistry, a bit of molecular biology and there is more of those aspects uh, that come into biotechnology. And it is all encompassing in the sense that it affects a lot of fields. That is also the reason why there are different subfields within biotechnology called industrial biotechnology, agricultural biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, etc. So that's biotechnology. That's basically you are using technology to, to improve bioprocesses. So wine making is a good example, then bacterial cultures, probiotic cultures uh, that you do, the yeast cultures, all those things can be considered as biotechnology. Now then, biomedic, what is biomedical engineering? Biomedical engineering is also reasonably easy to understand when you look at the word medical. So biomedical engineering is more close, more closer to engineering and the idea is that you use engineering principles for healthcare applications, human healthcare applications. Let's say you take a medical device. So development of a medical device, let's say using physics, physics informed medical device, you can look at the ultrasound scanner or maybe CT scanners, etc. So they use physics, basically ultrasound waves, they push, they, they send ultrasound waves through your body, 
see the reflected waves and try to reconstruct the uh, what is the uh, internal structure of the body. So the, you use physics, you employ the concepts of physics, you make an engineering system to use those co physics concepts to understand the human body either for understanding or for diagnosing or even therapeutic. So you can understand the body, you can diagnose some pathological conditions or uh, health, health abnormalities and you can even use it for therapy like there is something called uh, focus ultrasound which is used in the brain uh, for um, therapeutic applications to cure uh, to non-invasively cure brain brain cancer there are a lot, lot of applications so when you use physics and engineering to to focused on human health care for either diagnosis or for human physiological research that's biomedical engineering so it's medical you cut the word medical so biomedical engineering is very much focused on human health and medical technology medical device technology and so even point of care diagnostics all that are all that is encompassed within human healthcare technology comes under biomedical engineering so that's clear so biomedical is engineering and technology for health biotechnology is technology to improve bio, bio biological processes so now it comes to bioengineering what is bioengineering bioengineering in my opinion this is a very personal opinion because it's a very evolving field and in my opinion it is the use of engineering processes to uh, in the, to, to to both under, better understand biology as well as leverage biology for healthcare applications and for non healthcare uh, applications across across the globe in the sense across fields be it the bioprocessing industry be it the healthcare industry be it the pharma industry everything so bioengineering is the use of engineering principles it can be chemical engineering it can be electrical engineering it can be mechanical engineering it can be different types of engineering so it's in my opinion it's an all encompassing field so biotechnology can be one type of bioengineering biomedical engineering can be one type of bioengineering that's also the reason why if you look at the departments uh, across india and across the world they are they they are more and more trying to rechristen their departments as the department of bioengineering or bioscience and engineering and bio and when 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 there is a enormous amount of legacy research going on in biotechnology especially focused on the chemistry and the molecular biology of it to look at bioprocesses there is also a separate department of biotechnology so if you look at iit madras for example it has a department of biotechnology which is focused on biotech and it has been there for many years now but they also have a department of applied mechanics which uh, actually does the biomedical work and now recently they have started the department called medical science and technology which is even more focused on looking at the medical science department Me medical science aspects of it the biomedical clinical aspects of it if you look at other departments let's say iit bombay iit bombay has a department called bsb which is bioscience and bioengineering so that's all encompassing so they do the biotech work the biomedical work the other bioengineering work everything in that department if you look at IASC from my alma mater where, where I did my PhD from, they were initially called Biosystem, Center for Biosystems and Bioengineering. And now it has become the Department of Bioengineering with the whole idea that bioengineering kind of encompasses biotechnology, biomedical engineering and everything in between. Now a good example of uh, bioengineering is, uh, let's say um, you are let's look at the uh, um, uh, any uh, uh, vaccine development process and you have to uh, let's say the covid vaccine is an mrna vaccine and they did some research on the mrna and uh, let's say they wanted to engineer the dna or, uh, and the rna aspects of it and they do some research and they develop a technology to go in and modify the dna and add some specific nucleic acids to to encode the DNA to make specific proteins in your body so that those proteins can fight a disease. So you are actually making, coming up with new principles, new engineering aspects of how to bring in the DNA into a cell. So you are engineering the cellular processes to create the proteins that fight against the disease. So that's again engineering. So that's using engineering to uh, alter biological processes 
and it can also be using engineering principles to better understand biological processes as well. Let us say we develop new imaging systems, uh, let us say light sheet microscopy and other uh, advanced uh, cryo electron microscopy, we are when, when, we, when, we, when we use methods and set up uh, methodologies, processes to use such advancing imaging technologies to image biology that becomes bioengineering as well. So, it is an all encompassing field. So, we looked at bioengineering, biotechnology, biomedical engineering and these are the some basic differences between the uh, three groups. I hope you found this in, uh, useful and mm, reasonably clarified the doubt of what is what. See you in the next video. Bye bye.